kwasuga lokho izinja ziganunwa bumakwala a church indodizo kafuli kwe ikotse ikotsa yenga ikotsi kahlela umlomo kwavuka nje bovu umkhavu zobona umdadavu sikubhale ndodla kuphumelele kwazi ukubhodla sithenga ugologo 24/7 siyachitha sithathe le rap sibuyisele move ebantwini sikuthole lokushini nabantwana emabheshini Welcome, you guys. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Um, we're starting a brand new vlog today. So, yeah, I just made myself breakfast. I'm still having it. Um, not done yet. I think I'm going to have most of it after I've introduced the vlog. I just wanted to come here and introduce the vlog and say, hello, hi, sweeties. How are you doing? <laughs> so, um, oh, I even touched it. I have this mic on today. I've never used it um, in any of the videos, as you guys would know, because I just feel like the sound quality is okay without it. But I just wanted to test it out. I just want to hear what it actually sounds like with the mic. So I hope it's okay. I hope it's okay, because then it would be, yeah, a waste of like an intro. Okay, maybe not. I think I'll still use the intro, especially if you can hear the sound. Um, however, I think... I hope it's going to be fine. I hope it's not, you know, it doesn't sound weird or anything like that. I'll only know, obviously, when I edit. So, yeah, it's But anyway, hello, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so, yeah, we are kickstarting a new video today. We'll see what we get up to. Actually, when I was editing last uh, Monday's vlog, um, you guys... No, when I was editing Monday's vlog, I realized that I didn't include excuse me the home updates um i think i was at the end of the editing process when i realized the goodie damn gonja i had clips of the home updates but i didn't even include them on the video so yeah but i think you might have seen a few things um in the on the in the bedroom because it was in the bedroom in the main and then um in the sitting room so i think i'll just include them on this vlog because what else? The footage is already there. It's just that I actually forgot about it. So I'll include them on this vlog. And then 
you guys will then see what's going on. Um, yeah, I think this week my main focus is just Crazy's birthday. That's like the one thing that's just ringing in my mind. Her actual birthday is actually the 16th of April. Oh my gosh, I can't believe my girl is four. Like, where did the time go? It feels like just yesterday when I had her. So yeah, anyway, she's turning four. I'm really excited. Um, I've ordered party packs. Oh, the packaging is to die for. Um, I'm not going to show you, you know, you know, you know how it is. I'm not going to show you. I'll show you in the next vlog. Okay. Because I obviously want it to be like a full birthday type of experience and all of that. Um, I do have a couple of things that I still need to get ready. Actually, those party packs, initially I had ordered them for Cretch because I want to have party packs for Cretch and, you know, just for them to sing for her and she feels special and all of that. However, when I saw them, I was like, wait a minute this this goes with the vibe of the party okay so i don't think i'll do that also because they are quite on the pricey side so if i actually use them and have to buy others for the party is not going to work so i think i'll just use these ones for the party and then um buy party packs i don't know because like i need to buy them like today actually um possibly at Westpac, I think Westpac might have them. Hopefully ones that are already pre-stocked, that would even be great for me because less work. And then the only thing I need to think about are these party packs for the actual party itself because I still need to fill them up. So it's just empty packaging. Oh, it's so cute. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to be up to. I need to get my nails done anyway because really they are like done. Uh, I'm not going to do the whites because I have a lot of things like fully things that I'm going to be doing. So the whites is going to stain quite a bit, especially because I'm going to be working a lot with my hands. So I will not be using those. Um, yeah, so I just need to change the color. I think I'll go with the lilac color. Um, oh, I already said I should organize the games for the kids on Saturday. I'm like, ma'am, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll attempt some of the games. I, I don't have games in mind that are suitable for kids, especially they are different age groups. But um, we will see. Otherwise, um, things for the jumping castle, those are sorted. I wanted to have that, that thing that I told you guys about. They call it a bubble house. But I am not finding it. The ones that I'm finding are extremely expensive. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how it all goes. Okay, let's just see. But um, Usuna will be helping me when it comes to like the prepping of the snack table. So she's going to come through like bright and early in the morning. And then we're going to go through like the cooking part of it. And the, the should I cook the, the, the night before? I think so. I think I should cook on the Friday. Like the food for the, the parents. And then on Saturday, we can just do like the burgers and the the hot dogs for the kids, the chips, those ones, you know, they are obviously easy to assemble. So I think those ones we can do on the day, on the Friday morning, and then we can immediately focus on the um, the snack table, you know, because those ones I think would need a little bit of work. So yeah, that's that, guys. Good morning, hey? Good morning, and any wine. But um, we'll do it, we'll do it. Um, what else? I think that's that on that. I think that's that on that. We'll just see how the week goes when it comes to so all of the planning and stuff and then take it from there but yeah i just thought i should come here and open the vlog and say hello hi because i know i've been spoken to you guys i've just been recording a couple of things hope you guys are well please check if you're subscribed especially if you're coming back for more content you know so please just double check if you're actually subscribed to the channel i'd absolutely love it if you do it's absolutely free please don't forget to like the video it really helps um promote the video and get it to even more people drop your comment you know what it is i love the comment section my comments section is dope like positive energies wire wire from the first comment to the last one so thank you so much for that you guys i really appreciate it okay um i think let's catch up at westpac when i go there mm, nails wise oh no i think whatever i've recorded doing my nails a gazillion times already <laughs> anyway you guys let's catch up later when we go to westpac and see go see what party packs they actually have Zang Paul in Jelino Kosh Utsiges song is Nemiswa Lentin no kung ponte tamin lem kong No ma se hunja long yaiswa Kwishenga poo 
Family frozen trees. When it comes to money, I they concentrate. Look at the streets, you are not my mate. If you can bank on it, you can put a hundred grand on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Let the order to call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on him Show them Gangnam Style, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on a bang on him Lele ho, lele ho, yeah Tobalo ako macho, yeah Tobalo mako macho, yeah Nobody know tomorrow Choro ka choro And if a boy feel macho Make him look red like a tomato If him not dead then he come at us No go fambo As the day comes As I go on God don't watch over me oh lord I cannot trust my <laughs> okay, so I just want to quickly show you the um, mini home updates, especially down here. Um, it's just that we changed the carpet, so I'm going to give you a close-up of the carpet. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it properly. But yeah, um, we changed up the carpet. I don't know why my, I don't know why my couch likes appearing like really dark on camera. Um, but it's actually like gray, like mm, not gray, mm, beige. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, whatever. It's not about the couch. Um, so it's this carpet. Very close shot. So that's what the carpet looks like all around. I'm obviously giving you a close up shot. Um, we got this carpet at China Mall. Um, I have been buying carpets from China Mall lately. Um, in the past, I used to buy them at um superbalist yeah i think the brand is photokiss i'm not even pronouncing it right i think the brand is photokiss yeah anyway but this one is very lush and soft and really really thick so rugs at china mall are really great and the price is also really great um so that's what it looks like as you can see we've moved um <laughs> kanisa's crib over there We've moved it because honestly we don't need it anymore anyway um it has these little let me see let me just put the camera down um on the sides it has this little um a detail over here like these tassels on either side of the carpet um it's really soft it's really thick and i love it i love it and obviously the price point as well as i said is um is good i mean obviously it's china mall um i'd say if you buy this carpet from anywhere else like at main at like mainstream kind of shops you would easily pay seven grand eight grand um i got this carpet for three grand yes for three grand so yeah that's what it looks like for me according to me it is like really worth it obviously carpets are expensive and they've got different ranges there's ones that um are even cheaper than this so this one was more on the <laughs> premium side range just because um yeah i don't have a lot of carpets i definitely need to invest in another one so that we can change out 
um this one whenever we have to wash it so yeah anyway that's my table guys bears it is honestly i would love to have um you know deco on the table a nice like little table but with kids it's really difficult um i think people with kids will understand what i'm talking about you can't have stuff on the table because they're going to play with them and it's just it's just not functional to have any deco pieces on the table for that reason so this is like a table that i bought a very long time ago from mr price home it's very lightweight it's easy to carry around it's just here for functionality um we did remove it obviously during the time kanisa's bed was there because it just felt like it was a lot with the table and the bed so now that we've removed the bed and she's like crawling about we um we brought it back basically so yeah hence there's nothing over there in case you were wondering and then um it's the lighting you know just because i'm facing the <laughs> the window anyway we got this standing lamp maybe let me go on the other side and show you guys what it looks like but from this angle this is what it looks like i mean if you are coming in from the front door it's just peeking through behind the couch i've always wanted to have something there because it felt like it was um empty-ish you know i don't know but yeah so i bought that from deco fern um it's just, it's just black and it has like some wooden accents at the bottom i'll show you guys i'll go on the other side and show you but um it's matte black over there um and then with a matte black shade lamp shade um so that's what it looks like from this end please don't mind the the cable there it's cable um yeah i'll push it out to that side but otherwise honestly i'm I, it's not for functionality if i may say in terms of we're not going to use it to put a light in there we don't need extra lighting or anything like that it's just for it to give the space a little something something you know so yeah i'll just shove um this cable you know at the back of the couch but other than that um we're not gonna need the cable i was even actually considering cutting it but then i thought what if next time you know we actually need it for functionality for whatever reason so i'm gonna leave it for that reason but i did have thoughts to actually just cut it out uh but also maybe it would look weird there at the top if i cut it out uh, i don't know but for now i guess let's leave it <laughs> like that um so yeah i think it makes the space look really nice and yeah i like it i like it i like it um i initially wanted to get the white but you know deco fern they um didn't have the white in stock so i needed to order it blah 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 i was like hey, i don't want to go through all of that so the black is also fine the black i think also works well um also because um you know we have some black and white paintings over there and then we do have a lot of white on top of that console table so i think the black is a nice contrast to that whole situation so yeah i think it looks really cute um let me show you guys my bedroom okay let's do the bedroom as you can see we've tiled i think that's the that's our biggest <laughs> renovation that we've ever done here. Um, yeah, because these houses come with carpets. And I have to say that the carpet was really good. I mean, it looked good. It was brand new, of course. Um, but, you know, carpet over time. And I'm not a fan of carpet anyway. So I knew that at some point I was definitely going to change it up. So that's what the tile looks like. Um it looks really good i love it i love 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 it um it brings like a little bit of warmth it's like light gray with a little gold and white or a little brown and white detail maybe not brown but maybe beige um detail so that's what it looks like and then we also got this rug um, I bought it from China Mall as well. It looks really cute. I've never bought a round rug, but I thought this time around, let me get a brown rug. It also has the tassels on the side. It's really nice and cute. It has like neutral tones to it and a little bit of color here and there with the, um, 
the red or the maroon um over there it's it's really nice and soft i absolutely absolutely love it um like these tiles really brought the brightness in this room i have to say because obviously the carpet was like brown more on the beige side as well <clears throat> pardon me um and then another star of the show is this a little occasional chair um it's a sherpa material let me come close so that you guys can see it's a sherpa material as you can see i know it's white um i was very tempted to take gray but i thought no man i've been wanting a white couch over here so yeah i decided to go with the white and then i spray painted it actually i didn't even show you guys that day i spray painted it with scotch guard i literally used the whole tin on it so yeah <laughs> hopefully it will be fine but i have very strict instructions when it comes to this chair like i don't want games because yeah the people i live with in this house so yeah i like it it looks cute i bought it at um decoffin they actually do have especially when it comes to like occasional chairs because i see that like most of their occasional chairs are on special uh maybe like 80 percent of their occasional chairs are on special so if you were looking into buying an occasional chair consider going there and get yourself one on special so that's what it looks like and then thirdly we changed the um, curtains okay that's me peeping <laughs> we changed the curtains i don't know how i'm gonna show if you guys can see the curtains we had here previously were one dark gray but also they were um, Mm, the material was slightly different from this it was like the thick material the thick um what do they call that material that covers the the curtains that like goes dark if you close it yeah that one i forgot the name if i remember the name i'm gonna write it but then this one is like the very light material which i really like because it's light and soft um this one is you see in like a silver type of color which i feel like one matches with the white lace um i changed the lace as well and i wanted to go with something like this in terms of like crystal white and not necessarily like an off-white color so this is like literally bright white <laughs> and then it has those little flowery details which is not too much not overwhelming at all so yeah i really like it um how many meters did i do i think i did a uh, four meters because i still wanted some light to come in whenever we open the um, the the curtain so when we have just the lace there i still like really wanted some light so i feel like this silver type of color also matches with our um, side tables these side tables actually i bought a while ago while we're still in the old house if you guys followed me from when we were there that's why i bought them um at at home outlet yeah at, at home outlet so i didn't buy them directly from <laughs> at home because they are very pricey like i was actually hoping to find this this is what i was actually looking for when i went there and i found it and i got a, a good special it was still expensive but i got a good special because the one on the side has a little bit of crack um on the one door but it's not too bad so yeah it's fine anyway that's what it looks like you guys oh i love it i think the colors go i don't mind this bed guys as i know the blanket the whatever it's not aesthetic but you know what it's for functionality because okay sometimes you know at night if i forget to wake up she pees herself um on occasion though she might have to say that she has gotten better but it's this thing of hers of drinking water before she sleeps so we have that blanket over because yeah that's why so please don't mind that we are considering actually moving her um having her move in the other bedroom so like moving this whole bed um in the other bedroom and then um just having you know those those um couches i don't know what they call them those long couches there it would be nice to actually have something like that and have this moved but we'll see how that goes actually um you know i still have that mirror over there i bought a mirror from superbalist i think i'll put a picture on the side here for you to see um i thought it was actually big and whatever i mean considering the price but to be honest it was on sale the original price i think was 
1.9 or something like that but yeah i didn't like it when it got shared it was extremely small and just uh, no i didn't like it and i know mirrors are extremely expensive so i am looking into getting a mirror i'm thinking of getting a silver one and just so that it can match nicely with the the curtains and the side tables as well so yeah we'll see when that happens but yeah, otherwise this is my bedroom guys i absolutely love the tile i think it just brought so much light obviously because of the curtain it's dark it brought literally so much light and brightness to the space i absolutely 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 love it <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another day of this vlog. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in um yet again. I actually in Sunday I because we can't I actually um, haven't started editing the vlog. I need to edit now. Um, and I just realized one, I don't. Nah. Okay, so I um, have not started editing the vlog. I need to actually start now. The vlog is due tomorrow. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say. I, uh, I don't even know what I've recorded. Like, I don't even remember because I know I wasn't recording for a couple of days. So I literally have no idea what footage I have and so forth. So I'm going to find out now, I guess. I think the one thing that's just like in my brain is the party on Saturday. But I think things are coming nicely. They're coming together nicely. I really struggled getting the bubble house. However, um, I did get it. One of my colleagues, Utebi, um, she was helping me search as well. And then she found this other company that I reached out to and um, yeah they were able to help so I'm happy about that um, and I'll try my best to really really um, you know try and shoot as much content on the day as possible obviously you know I feel like I just I don't want to be busy as well I want to find myself like extremely busy to a point where I'm unable to like edit um, shoots for you guys so I really want to make sure that I shoot um, lots and lots of content so yeah anyway um let me quickly show you what i got at cotton on actually the one thing that i went to the shops for was um, socks like they call them tights remember in the last vlog i was wondering when you and i'm but they call them tights actually tights so yeah anyway tights i'm a <laughs> um i wanted pink ones that are going to match with the girls outfits from or for saturday because i'm not quite sure of the weather I did check online and it said it's going to be hot, but like you just never know with the weather, right? It can change at any given day. So I really want to be prepared on the day. Hence, I've got jackets for them and um, the, the socks that I went to the shops to buy. And then obviously I ended up buying got some of the items at cotton on and then some of the other basics from Woolworths. At cotton on, the main reason for me to go there was to get um tight amakusha but i did not find the color that i was looking for so yeah anyway but they do have a special on these jackets so i did get um this jacket as i said for uketo i feel like jacket is just something else right for her it's just yeah they, it's just it just looks weird also because she hasn't really started walking and stuff like that so i think if you're wearing a jacket sitting down or trying to crawl um, is a bit of a mission. So yeah, anyway, I just got this for Roma. They do have a special um, on these puffer jackets at Cotton On. I think they go for like 350 from something like 599. So yeah, I got her that. And then she literally cried for these wings. Like uh, Yazin, she literally cried for these wings. Oh well, not wings, but like butterfly. I don't know, whatever butterfly. Um, ish. yeah. And as I'm thinking of Buisa Lentole. Or I flag on Saturday, maybe on her outfits just to make it look wow. And as we'll see, and then she also cried for that. Funny that this one says, um, happy birthday. Oh, no, it says it's my birthday. Sorry, 
it says it's my birthday um funny that she chose specifically this one like she literally cried for it um she obviously doesn't know what it says but i just loved when she specifically cried for this one and, and actually says it's my birthday i did buy something similar at she in um i think i forgot to show you um that time i was doing the the haul but yeah anyway so i'll see actually i need to fit her outfit um today and just make sure it fits and everything is like coordinated right um so yeah that was cotton on i got those three things and then um at woolies i got this belt actually this belt i think i bought it for saturday if it's cold if she's going to be forced to wear a jacket um just at the top just to cinch the jacket with um a belt i think that would like be super super cute so that is why i got this i think it goes with the color scheme um and then at woolworths the main aim as well when i went there was to get tights as they call them um i wanted like really pink ones like rose pink type of color but i couldn't find it so i just want to see right now in terms of um if i fit her clothes so there's this pack with the white and the light pink and then i thought maybe color blocking maybe we can do a purple it's kind of washed out actually where is the you know what i'm looking for i'm looking for the light i wanted to see if i cannot adjust it um so that you guys can see properly because i think it's washing out everything but in this is purple i don't know or like lavender type of lilac i'm not sure if it's showing properly on the screen but then i thought maybe this as well um i'm not quite sure of the white maybe the white so it's fine i'll put these on her and see in case the weather is obviously off because it is very cold these days um i got her socks because she does need socks just like for every day um most of rumors clothes she has handed over to keta so keta has like a ton of clothes because some of rumors old clothes which some of them are not really old they just like don't fit um Uruma anymore so keta is like basically taking over on those ones um and then i got her vest this one was already open but it was literally the only size four um in the white so i got her these i just wish that they had maybe a pack of like five because obviously it's autumn slash going into winter so kids wear these quite a lot so it's disappointing that they actually don't have a pack of five um for these so yeah anyway these are why they the same no, these are thermal long sleeves and then these ones are um, soft cotton. So anyway, I just got the pink and the white for Uruma. And then for Uketa for the socks, I just got these ones because her outfit is more rosy, like more rose pinky. So I think these might actually like work very well um, with, with the outfit. I think they might work because like I'm struggling to find the pink that I want. I'm charging my phone. I wanted to show you the actual pink socks that I wanted. Um, I saw a pair on Superbalist, which is sold by Cotton On. So I went to Cotton On and thought that I was going to find it, but it wasn't there. Even on Superbalist, it's like sold out. I think the only sizes that I left is like size 6 to 8 and something like 9 to 10, something like that. But sizes that are way bigger than Roma and Keto. And then um, lastly, I got Uruma another pack of panties. I just want to like take out, I did buy her a pack actually like maybe a few weeks ago. So I just want to take out the really older, older, older pairs and just literally throw them out. Then she can have um, just, you know, new undies only in her drawer. And then, yeah, that's all that I got. Um, actually went there for socks, but anyway, I needed some of these things because these are like the basics that... Um, Uruma actually needs because we cleaned the wardrobes that other day and we realized that we needed some of these items So yeah, anyway, you guys, um, I just want to close out the vlog. I hope this I hope the vlog makes sense Um, obviously I wouldn't know because I haven't started editing. I'm gonna edit now I know it's gonna be a long night for me, but I'm gonna try and push and edit and see what I have Um, and hopefully get a vlog not hopefully like I'm really I'm gonna get it out. I'm gonna get a vlog out tomorrow. So yeah, anyways, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do, especially if you enjoy the content. I'd really appreciate it if you do. Um, it's absolutely free, but it means such a great deal for me. Um, if you're a regular, regular, honey, sweetie, 
fam thanks for tuning in obviously thanks for tuning in you know i really appreciate it and i love it for me i love the comment section it is literally the bomb.com and thank you so much you guys for commenting i respond to every single one of the comments because i absolutely absolutely love them positive vibes all the way of course and yeah i guess that's it for this vlog let's catch up on the next one where obviously most of the content will be um, the party, okay? Possibly only the party because I'm thinking what else will I be able to record? Or maybe the planning, yeah. Let's say pre-party planning and then, you know, the actual event in itself. Um, and then we'll see whatever else. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye!